In 2013, this Dr. Janice Bursick held an event called the Trillion Sensor Summit in San Francisco. And he was looking at uh, this idea of how long will it be before we reach the first trillion sensors in the world. So the people that attended that event, they all got together and they, they looked at it and they thought, you know, it looks like we're going to reach the first trillion sensors somewhere between 2022 and 2024. And then by 2036, we're going to have 100 trillion sensors in the world. Now, what this means is that the sensors themselves, these are sensors that detect light, humidity, moisture, um, actually millions of different things, are getting very easy to mass produce. They're getting very tiny, very ubiquitous. Um, and very inexpensive. And so we're gonna start embedding sensors in paint. We'll paint our walls with them. We'll paint the sides of bridges with them. We'll embed them in our clothing. We'll have information coming from everywhere. When you look at this little skin patch, it looks like a little Band-Aid on, on somebody's wrist. This is a very sophisticated piece of technology with lots of information coming and going. The first iPhone that came out in 2007 had five sensors in it. The average smartphone today has over 20 sensors in it, so the number of sensors in a smartphone is doubling every four years, roughly. So the prediction is that we'll reach the first trillion sensors by 2022, and that this is going to open the doors for uh, lots of micro-industries, sensor installers, data marketplaces, design studios, repair shops, and much more. The Internet of Things. The company Cisco recognized that the number of devices connected to the Internet somewhere between 2008 and 2009 started to exceed the number of people on Earth. 6.8 billion people, 6.8 billion devices. Now the projections are that we're going to reach roughly 25 billion things connected to the Internet by 2020, and, uh, and that's rising rapidly. And so we're essentially connecting the physical world around us together so we can monitor everything that's happening in the world. We're building this digital infrastructure over everything physical in the world. In uh, January, I went to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. They had this company that was making smart jeans. I thought, wow, this is kind of stupid. Uh, <laughs> Uh, these actually are kind of cool, though, because when you're walking down the street, if you're supposed to turn right, it'll buzz on your right side. If you're supposed to turn left, it'll buzz on your left side. So everywhere you go, you have a little GPS in your pants. <laughs> L'Oreal is making a smart hairbrush. Uh, this is pretty cool. When you brush your hair, the sound that uh, the hair makes as it's passing through the bristles can tell if you have uh, split ends or cracked hair, and it'll recommend different shampoos and conditioners for you. Smart chopsticks will tell you if your food's safe to eat. Um, the pepper projector, this is really cool. It can look at a plate of food, it'll tell you how much you weigh before you eat it and how much you're going to weigh afterwards. <laughs> the biometric coffee maker, I love this one. It's really smart. You get up in the morning, you put your hand on it, it knows exactly how much caffeine should go in your coffee. <laughs> we, we think it should have a Jack Daniel switch on it too, but... <laughs> the IC pooch, uh, this is really cool. So if you have pets at home, you can remotely dispense food for your pet from the office, and then you can FaceTime them. So if you have pets at home, today and you're not FaceTiming them, well then, shame on you. <laughs> and this is really cool. This is a VR unit for chickens. <laughs> and it begs the question, if the chicken thinks it's a free-range chicken, is it? <laughs> and this one's for medical students. <laughs> Now, because there's an eye chart on the wall, we think it's to improve their hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. Uh, the prediction is that 10% of the world's population will be wearing clothes connected to the internet by 2022. That's just four years from now. And that more than 50% of internet traffic to the homes will be from appliances and devices by 2024. And that this is going to open the door for lots of micro industries, smart building installers, smart clothing developers, healthcare monitors, um, proximity alert systems, and much more. Thank you.